There is a brand new update today and there's a lot of really cool new things in creative mode. We've got new prefabs, new galleries, and two really cool new devices and one really cool new setting. I've set up two really cool unique levels that I'm gonna show you and how I set all of those up. All right, let's jump into it guys. I forgot to mention there is a new island you can use. So this is like a new uh, really cool uh, tropical looking island with the dynamic water that you can swim in. So this is a cool new option for people making adventure maps or just whatever if you want swimming to be in your island and it's just it just looks really cool. They also added in all of the uh, slurp uh, factories uh, prefabs and galleries so that you can see all of the new galleries here. But there's nothing really too special in these. Uh, I mean this one was pretty cool. Uh, let's fly right over here and throw this down. There's some cool like new trucks and you know this water thing is actually really cool i guess we can make this giant if we wanted for just effect right so really cool new um little prefabs and galleries added and then we've got two really cool new devices so there's the tracker device and there's the new trick tile device and there's also a really cool new setting in the mutator zone where when you emote it triggers a channel and so so you can do stuff now making people dance or having to emote it and then it will get you past the level kind of thing first let's look at the new trick tile so check out this really cool new level that i've set up all right so let me show you this little level i've made here uh using the new uh, slurp prefabs uh but the goal is to get up here on top of this spot but it's impossible because there's a wall in my way and no way to jump up there well, this new device lets you make walls disappear, right? You can see the little like shimmy. You can you, you can make it so it doesn't shimmy or that it instantly disappears if you want. But the cool thing about this is, let me show you, you hit this trigger, boom, and the walls reappear. So now we can jump back over to the goal right so the pathway that was impossible before is now possible so there's a lot of really cool applications you can use with this device whether it's making walls reappear or floors that were not there before are now there you know that kind of thing there's a lot of different possibilities with this device let's just go over real quickly how i set this all up so first you're going to go into your devices you can go to recently added if you want and pick the trick tile is what the device is called hit equip and then you're going to see it in your trap devices area so you can pull it up you can attach it to any wall floor or ceiling that you want now let's go into the actual device so once it's attached to the wall here's what i did i hit uh, e for customize and then you can see all of your different options here so some of the unique ones are the activation delay so you can make it so you know it activates after two seconds with mine it was only 0.5 seconds so that was the little shimmy if you make it two seconds it'll kind of like flash and shimmy a little bit longer you can make it so it's triggered on player contact or through like another channel you can change how the wall interacts when you touch it so you can see the bounce and the color is what was changing when i uh, triggered it before but you can make it so it only bounces or it only changes color or there's nothing at all it just disappears so now we're into all of the different triggers that are really important so this first one triggering when receiving from is if you hit another trigger then the wall will disappear that this is attached to this is the setting that i used for, to like make the walls reappear so it resets when receiving from channel one you can make it so it enables when it's receiving from a certain trigger so once they run over a trigger then they can go back and explode the walls so this can make it so the wall before it seems like it's impervious but now that you've triggered something or you've gone down a certain path now you can go back and the wall will disappear when you hit it so there's a lot of different like options with these different triggers that you can do you can even have it transmit on a certain trigger you can see that's the one i'm highlighting right here um once someone has disabled that wall it will transmit on that trigger and trigger something else so there's lots of really cool things you can do with this uh device so the important things that i did for this level was i made the activation delay 0.5 seconds and then i said reset when receiving from channel one and then i set up all of these walls with that exact same setting and then i just um added a trigger right here um that 
when I hit it, it made all the walls reappear so that you could jump back over here. It's that simple. It's a really simple setup, but now it's a really unique level that's never been done before in Fortnite Creative. Okay, now let's take a look at the new tracker device, and I set up this really cool little Simon Says level. This is, let's just look at it. Okay, so here's this little Simon Says mini game that I set up. So right here it says, my name is Simon, you must do what I say to continue. So we're gonna step on the trigger, which activates the Simon Says game. You can see up above me, there's a little tracker that says, Simon Says Tracker, zero out of three. So let's go over here first, it says, Simon Says Dance. So let's. Uh, pick a dance to do here. Let's do a little uh, breakneck. Boom, 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 boom. But you'll see at the top that there's one out of three things done now. So then we can do Simon says touch the wall. We'll touch the wall. Oh, look, there's two out of three things. And now it says Simon says jump. Oh, it jumped. And then look, the wall disappears and we can go to the next room. So let me show you how I set all of this up. Okay, so this room is a little bit complicated, so bear with me. Okay, so the first thing I did was pull out the new device. So you go to devices, recently added, and this is called the tracker device. You hit equip, and then I threw it out right here. So let's go in and just look at some of the settings. So, so these settings can get a little bit complicated. So the first one is what stat are you checking? You can check um, channels, you can check eliminations, and how many times someone has been eliminated, you can track those things. So in my little mini game, I've tracking channel triggers. The target value is what this device is tracking. So if it's tracking your channel or eliminations or um, how many times you've been eliminated, it will um, track that target value. You can make it really high or really low, but for this one, for my little mini game, I'm making it so three. So that's like the little thing that was at the top of the screen that was tracking how many times something has happened to me. You can have it assigned on the game start or you can have it assigned when it's activated from a certain trigger. In this case, I did it once it, it was activated from a certain trigger. You can even share the values for your team or from everyone that's on the map. So when something is triggered or there's an elimination or something, the whole team is tracked. You can even do it to where it tracks like eliminations from certain weapons. So if you have 10 rifle eliminations, it's activated or whatever. You can also make it to when the target is reached, it ends the round or it doesn't do anything or it completes the tracker. So uh, in, in this case, I have it saying complete tracker. So here's where you can make it so it appears on your HUD or not. You can also change uh, what the title says. So mine said Simon says tracker. You can make this eliminations or objectives obtained or whatever you want it to say. Up to 150 characters, so that's a lot actually. You can show the progress as the total or whatever is left. So it could be counting down, three, two, one, one, two, three kind of thing. Uh, mine was showing the total. Okay, so now we're down into the channels and this is where I can kind of show you what I did set up this room so this is the increment progress when receiving from channel three so all of my objectives the dancing the jumping and the wall touching every time i did that it, tran it transmitted on channel three so that this was tracking whenever it received from channel three so when i did the three different things then the final objective was activated so the increment progress when receiving from channel three is what uh, was a really important setup that I have here. Next one was assign when receiving from channel four. So that was this trigger right here is when I stepped on it, it assigned me to this tracker. You'll notice before there was no nothing up above my HUD, but once I stepped on that trigger, the little HUD message appeared and said, you have to do my three things to continue. Okay, these other channels I did not use at all. And then when I completed it, so right here says when completed, transmit on channel two, and then, so once I completed all three of these things, it transmitted on channel two, and then this wall um, device, this new wall device, um, activated or triggered when receiving from channel two. That's kind of how I set up the end there. I also have a little sound uh, mechanism here with a reward sound number one, which activated and enabled when receiving from channel two. So it was basically once this was done, the sound played and then the wall blew up kind of thing. Let me show you this cool new setting on the mutator device. So the mutator device is, you can find it just in recently added, um, you equip the mutator zone, throw it out. And then in here, there's this awesome new setting that just came out today that says on player 
uh, let's see if you can see it. On player starts emoting, trigger on channel three. Or on player stops emoting, you can transmit on a channel as well. So uh, that's what I set up. That's the only setting that I changed was that when they start emoting, it transmits on channel three. That's why it was Simon Says Dance. So any emote I would have chosen there would have activated that. And then these were just very simple. Um, if you touched this trigger, like touch the wall, it activated on channel three and then uh, Sam says jump you jump and hit the trigger and It transmitted on channel 3 which was being tracked right here on the tr the target value And so once I did all three of those things um, it it activated the wind condition and Now it, it opened that wall. Thanks for watching today If you want to see my other how to use certain devices and how to build in creative mode You can click right here to see all of my different videos on how to build if you're new to the channel Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Otherwise have an awesome day